Candy's collectible spot, we are having a look at the brand new Funko Rock Candy vinyl collectible of Batgirl. A little bit different than some of the other stuff that we've been looking at from Funko. Funko a lot of times have done really super cute, super stylized vinyl figures. Now we're kind of getting something a little bit larger in scale and I really like these. Batgirl was the first one that I found and I really basing it solely on what we've looked at here without getting even out of packaging, I would be very inclined to pick up more of these. Batgirl, however, does have a warning choking hazard as she does contain some small parts. Doesn't really look like she comes with many in the way of accessories. It does look, however, like she does sport a batarang and a display stand. Thank goodness for that. The side of the package features Batgirl. And I don't know if the camera's picking up. It's got slightly a splattered effect there. I like that. On the back, an idea of what Batgirl will look like out of packaging, although truthfully, I mean, you can kind of see it really in the packaging. Uh, collect, the all, collect all the DC Comics rock candy figures consisting of Batman v Superman, Wonder Woman, classic Batgirl, modern Batgirl, Harley Quinn, Supergirl, and classic Wonder Woman. To check out more from the folks over at Funko, head over to www.funko.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the brand new rock candy vinyl figure of Batgirl. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Batgirl consists of two accessories, one of which, well, two components, one of which being a clear display stand. It has one smaller peg, one larger peg, so there's really only one way to display her on the stand itself. I think this would also have been a great opportunity that they could have put the Rock Candy logo or something on here, maybe giving her a black display stand. But clearly they went the route of giving her a clear display stand so it looks like the figure can stand on her own. And speaking of standing on her own, hello, hi down there, uh, she does not actually stand on her own. Just the way that her feet are posed, it also looks like one foot sticks a little further down than the other. She sadly does not stand. So that is why we're going to make use of the display stand. And like I'd already mentioned, so you know, one peg hole is a little bit smaller or a little bit smaller than the larger other display stand peg, peg hole. Uh, that means there's only one way to peg her into place. So we want to just peg her in. And there we go. That's what it looks like on the underside there. I like this figure a lot. And I say figure, it's really more a statue. But I really like this statue quite a lot. Sometimes, especially when you go into comic book stores, you can be really bombarded by Funko vinyl pop vinyl figures. I mean, they there are so many to choose from. I pick up some from here, you know, from time to time here and there, depending on what characters I really like. I can't see myself probably picking up a whole, you know, every single Funko pop vinyl figure that's ever been released. Sometimes I like a little bit of a change. And Funko does the uh, Mopies, I think they're called Mopies, the plush ones. They also do the Dorbs, which I really haven't gotten behind. Sometimes it's just overload that when they do release something a little bit different, like the Vinyl Sugar, or in this case, the Rock Candy, that's when I get a little bit more interested. A uh, Batgirl here looks stellar. It looks really good here in a statue figure form. Now, this is an updated take on Batgirl. So she's got now more the blue outfit, which is kind of like a bluish gray outfit. Uh, yellow, it almost looks like Doc Martens, but yellow boots. Uh, not quite the same yellow, though, as the emblem, the logo, and the utility belt, and the gloves. Those are all a different color yellow, almost more like an orangey yellow, whereas these are a very stark light yellow. She also has a light yellow on the interior of the cape, which I'm, I can't really bring out all that much. Uh, let's have a look at her face. Now, one would say, yes, these are more stylized in design. They're kind of a cute, perky little version, statue version of what the characters look like. But I, I really like these quite a lot, actually, I must say. Uh, one of the things that she's also got with her is her Batarang, which doesn't come out of her hand. It's just it's stuck in her hand. Uh, these are very light plastic figures as well. Light, might, might I also add too, fairly inexpensive. Now what you would consider inexpensive to other people could vary from person to person. I think these figures are roughly about 13 to $14. Now that may seem high, but really if you look at vinyl figures as a whole, 
those pop vinyl figures are about that same price. And sometimes when you get overloaded with the number of pop vinyl figures that to spend the same amount and get the raw candy figures, I almost think is uh, something I would entertain for a future, like when more of these are released, I really see myself picking more of these up. Uh, it's not perfect, mind you. There's just a little bit of imperfection. Uh, the more notable imperfection is that the emblem, the ch uh, chest logo there, is not completely painted. Uh, some of the yellow has gotten off lucky. There's little areas around the hand that aren't perfect, but you probably see the most notable one, that the emblem is not completely yellow. In fact, either some of the paint has come off onto the logo, or like the yellow is not completely painted across. So other than that, a little small hiccup. The rest of the figures look really good though. The hair's nice. Like the eyes that they've given her as well. Big, bright, glistening green eyes. And of course, she's got these shorter cowl, uh, cowl ears as well. Something that the modern uh, Batgirl does also sport. Yes, indeed. I quite, I must say, I quite like this figure. And the price is really what's doing it for me. If the price was a little bit more, like if we were looking at, well, I know some of the the uh, the vinyl sugar figures tend to be a little bit taller. They're also closer to a $30 price point. By keeping these roughly around the same price point as vinyl figures, the vinyl pop vinyl figures from Funko, you're keeping it at a market where uh, collectors have an alternative. If you're kind of feeling a little like overwhelmed, like, the market is a little too saturated when it comes to the vinyl figures. Let's start looking at these guys. These ones right here. I think these fit the bill as bringing something different to the table for a market that is already kind of bombarded by vinyl pop heroes. Today's collectible spot. Spot was having a look at the brand new rock candy figures from Funko. We're looking today at modern uh, Batgirl. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.